All right, scans of 12J have picked up an unusual electromagnetic activity on its surface. Although not of a great intensity, it would seem an electromagnetic wind transverse the planet. The ship's PA has become corrupted during our descent to 12J, and we've had to shut it down. As a result, we can only transmit partial information. Guided by the wind and currents of the planet, we are able to locate a suitable landing area. Angular and extraordinary crystallized structures composed of sodium chloride rise from the planet's surface. Our team on 12J must be short. Its electromagnetic activity seems to be impacting the Exeandu and its systems. Let's see. Well, if we study the, you know, crystalline formations, it's just sodium chloride. I think we'd be more interested in, in studying the electromagnetic activity of the planet. New upgrade for housing. And they're going to be there for a long time gathering all that wonderful, wonderful science. So this is the low quality one. And this is the medium quality. And then the high quality one is over yonder. I mean, the top looks a bit nicer, I guess. But it still is like super industrial. I wonder what the insides look like. We carried out a uh, spectrometric analysis. The team of Zion located a source of electromagnetic emissives coming from an angular tunnel. The sides of the tunnel reflect like mirrors. Teams report details how as they advanced dark shapes move within the mirror like walls and removed the crew's reflected cells. These accounts would be dismissed as hallucinations. However, the visual capture of the teams confirms their reports and only one crew member appears to still possess their refraction. Psychological monitoring of the Zion team registers rising levels of panic among its crews. I don't know if breaking the mirrors is gonna help or if I should just have them go further into the tunnel or just have them leave. Maybe break the mirrors. <laughs> oh my God, really? The vital signs of the team were lost as soon as they get to shatter the surface mirrors of the tunnel. Recorded a headless body tumbling out of the tunnel. Mr. Trackers had begun to move back down the tunnel, accelerating before ceasing to emit. Dolus trackers are implanted within the helmets of the crew suits. It would can be assumed that Na was uh, decapitated before being able to leave the tunnel. Sure, bring him back, I guess. Well, two of you should be getting iron. Oh, you know, I know why. It's because they're full. You're full, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I knew it. That's why we're building this here, so that doesn't happen anymore. Because one of these guys will be just getting iron. One of these guys will just be getting carbon. One of these guys will just be getting silicon, and then it won't be a problem ever again. You guys' sole purpose in life is to grab iron. And that's it. Oh, this guy. Okay. 12E is an eligible candidate for testing the implementation of our colonization protocols. We have landed on 12E. Although it has a much warmer and more humid climate than that of Earth, it does possess oxygen and other materials. Oh, perfect. Well, we'll send 200-some people over. Oh, while the Heisenberg crew was carrying out their research, they became trapped by a lava tide. The phenomenon has been theorized, but was subject to debate within the tycoon scientific community. Today, the theory has been verified. Okay. A crew has taken refuge near the Heisenberg at a rocky outcrop. The ship has been damaged by the lava and will not be able to take off with the crew on board. Okay, save the Heisenberg. Oh. That's not what I thought it- Well, that's awkward, isn't it? These two sectors are gonna be so sad for a very long time. Very long time, they'll be very sad. Since leaving Earth, we've lost 200 crew members. It will not escape your notice that the number of death increases, so too does the prevalence of death Earth sickness. Thanks, game. You're so nice. Ah, uh, yes, the F you and your plans difficulty curve. If that's not this game in a nutshell, Frost, I don't know what is. <laughs> we got negative one debuff from the death of the Earth, negative one debuff from leaving the soul system, negative one debuff for discovering the fate of the protagonist, which we discovered in chapter two, now a negative one debuff for 200 crew members dying, negative one from discouraging results following two planet colonization tests. Okay, should I have just not colonized a planet? 
let's begin defrosting more people. And we're going to go ahead and get 100% speed to our cryo chambers. Uh, 12F has an average temperature of 112 Kelvin. A number of hot spots were detected across its surface. We have also locked on to an extremely disoriented distress signal. Encoded ID identifies the sender as Lisa, who has disappeared into the sphere on... Lisa? Lisa, you're live? We have landed on F-12. The surface is covered in ice, and the planet is bathed in a red mist around 100 meters in height. Numerous ice formations pierce the mist and extend skywards. The atmosphere radi radiates a blue light when illuminated by the system's pulsar. We have triangulated the location of the distress beacon and have identified several sites that could prove suitable for data collection. Find Lisa. You guys. Arriving at the distress signal coordinates, we discover a huge, deteriorated, metallic device half buried beneath the ice. Although of gigantic proportions, it is very similar in construction to an emergency beacon of our suits. While surveying the surrounding area, we found a badly decomposing giant humanoid corpse. Only a few scraps of organic tissue remain on the giant's bones, as well as material fragments of a Dulles suit. Organic sampling and DNA analysis have revealed the corpse of, is that of Lisa. We are unable to propose a robust theory for our report. Let's perform analysis. A step analysis indicates the outgassing of nitrogen dioxide from below the surface of 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Or sorry, <laughs> 12 F. The subsequent atmospheric mixing results in a red mist which dominates the planet's lower atmosphere. Oh, that's it? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not realize that was the only choice. Okay. What else to get? Anything else with the electronics? Yes, absolutely get this. Absolutely 100% get that. If you haven't noticed, I've been avoiding the main mission here. <laughs> just searching this ship because I feel like it's going to activate itself and then come after me and then it's just going to make everything a nightmare. And I'm not ready to deal with that until I at least research all the science stuff. You know, Sector 5 has, what, a thousand some people? These housing quarters here hold 112. I probably don't need all these guys. Obviously, I need more circuit boards before I start upgrading and condensing. We're gonna need this. More drones. More drones! Let's see, 12 indicate the presence of extreme intense meteorologic activity, yada yada yada. Many moons orbit C12, surrounded by a cluster of asteroids. Okay, we should be able to establish a research site up the gaseous planet. Okay, let's analyze the storms. 10 fewer workers. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. The atmosphere of C12 is extremely hostile. While we were conducting our surveys, a cyclone rose up and pinned us down. A name I'll never pronounce in my life, Khan and myself were separated from the others. When the winds abated and gave us some respite, we did manage to regroup. However, the others, their suits are orange in color. It's not from environmental factors. They are insisted that Dolas had always had orange suits. This is clearly untrue. And Khan and myself were wearing standard Dolas yellow. They are indeed our crew members and medical and psychological analysis does not reveal any deviance. Bring the whole back the whole. Whatever, yeah, so they shifted timelines. Whatever, sure, yeah, bring them home. It's whatever. No, I don't care. Some interesting planet. Yeah, look at that. We're pretty cool. What's more the tycoon? Alright, off we go. Let's get a little closer to the iron. Alright, shall we begin doing what I've been holding off doing for a while? The Haneris has been located. Initial visuals indicate that it has suffered heavy damage. Our sensors have not detected any activity on board the ship. We have entered the pirate. I just, I'm just going to keep going pirates. I did it so far. There is neither light source nor gravity within the ship. Many modifications have been made to its structure. The walls are of unknown shiny black metal that distorts the vision. The quarters were... We pass through our sim sometimes similar design to those of the Dolus or the UN. In some places, however, passageways are almost organic in shape. 
We did discover a large memorial. The statue at its center is obscured by the many cables, pipes, and conduits that lead away from the ship. We could make out the words property of the BMS at its base. If a team was not so anxious, we would have stopped to carry out further observation. Locate the coordinates. The ship's totally going to come back alive. We have found them. The devices holding the Remus coordinates are beyond a heavy reinforced door. We have tried several different approaches to open it, but haven't even succeeded in scratching it. Considering the Tycoon and Eden to preserve it will allow us to power and reactivate the door's coordinates. Oh, okay. Yeah, reactivate everything else in the ship and it'll have it immediately attack us. The connection is also necessary for the extraction and transfer of the Remus coordinates from the device to the Tycoon. We'll have to move on over. Oh, here we are. We're here. Look at how big that ship is compared to mine. Holy mother of pearl, it is absolutely massive. Look at this giant battery. Big battery. Big battery here in sector six. Big battery. Just shove the battery over here, I suppose. Be nice if I can get a big battery in every single sector. Oh, we built the battery. Look at it. This sucker can hold 840. <laughs> This is gonna be our final rest place. Death or sickness. Negative two penalty applied to everyone for literally no reason. For just me preparing for the inevitable. That's just stupid. Extract coordinates. Team has completed Administrator, it is re reactivating now, as I figured. We had to mandatory break the connector with the tycoon, interrupting the coordinate transfer. The darn wall started to move. Thanks to the exoskeletons, we are making for uh, Xion's, or Zion as fast as possible. Oh Lord, yeah, there it is, the glow. That's not good. Administrator, the pure Nazi has deployed a drone swarm around itself. We should move the tycoon immediately. Keep moving. It's deployed a drone swarm around itself. We should move the tycoon <sighs> immediately. Administrator, I see you. Pitiful Dolos leftovers. Ridiculous flesh bags. You are flies to me. Oh, I'll God. tear you apart, eat you, digest you, and soon you, your crew, the tycoon, and whatever's left of Dolos will be part of me. I am primordial. I am a beeper. You are nothing but erratic illusion, pointless heat dissipation, and abject failure. I have found your protection. It is but a matter of time before Naomi breaks into pieces and I feast on your carcass. Oh my god. Not. What a fantastic villain voice. <laughs> oh my god. Now is the time to run! Alright, Tycoon, it is time to move! This is why I didn't do crap until the batteries were mostly filled. We were out of there quickly! Bye-bye! <laughs> so we can create storm and drones, now roam the passageways of the ship to kill the team and destroyed it. Well... Oh, look at it. It's got a little icon and everything. Oh, great. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Data control algorithms have been overloaded. Diagnostics indicate external interference. Images of the Pionoris flood every screen. They haunt dreams and leave. Oh, God. Do you have a plan to save us from this monster and recover the coordinates of Remus? Administrator, there is fear. 
Stability penalty, negative two permanent. Are you kidding me, game? The game really just said, yeah, it's time for you to lose. Game, now is a great time to describe what I, the hell I should be doing. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Has launched a missile targeting the typhoon. Okay, what do I do about that? How do I activate missile countermeasure? It's not a building. Do I need to turn on the probes? I'm just gonna do a save here. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Right now. I'm getting concerned, game. Let's move, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Uh, I think moving may have been the best, smartest idea. Nah, nope, it's just still coming for us. Each seeking piece of garbage. A drone swarm has been released from the Pyrenees. The swarm aims to intercept the Typhoon. What do you want me to do about that game? Take it like a man? Okay. An accident has occurred in the Typhoon. So they just damaged a, a, a few sectors by the looks of it. No biggie. This is why we have fire stations everywhere. I think it's time we built a third one. Just to help repair as much as we can. We have tier one industry in sector six. Tier two in food. Tier two in space. Tier one recycling. I didn't even know you could do that. Is moving towards us. All nation or population tier one and industrial tier one. Okay. What do you want me to do? A new request awaits your attention. Ooh. I see now. I see now why we're gonna need this. Warning. Entering Piranesi Drone Controlled Area. We must leave now. Alright. We are moving! Oh yeah, look at that. Population transfer complete. Nicely the parked. The Piranesi has launched a missile targeting the Typhoon. Game, are we- what are we- what are we doing? Like, survive. Oh, 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 what? Why? I also have to train, apparently. A lot more colonists. Administrator, this is from Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate with the inner appearing to be severely dysfunctional. We had to attempt to bypass the usual communication protocols. I don't know if you received this message. I hope you do. The Pyrenees is, is a big threat we faced as soon as it first reports of the e destruction reached our ears. We secretly began to investigate to find a way to neutralize this new threat. At the center of the system lies. PSR B1257 plus 112A, or I'm sorry, 12A. A long interstellar pulsar. Despite all its power, we think it, that in its current state, the piracy cannot withstand a pulse from. However, Tycoon would not survive such a pulse either. You must send an expedition to it to find a solution. All well, rumors about you. Some say you don't exist or that you've lost, that you're lost in cryo sleep. Some even believe that. Eden is impersonating you. Others, including myself, have faith in you as our administrator. Save the tycoon, save the crew, save what is left of humanity. A bomb of a plan. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. I didn't know the hospital could treat people from other sectors. That is fantastic. Tycoon self-destruct in 10 seconds. What? Five seconds. Four. 
three, two, one. No Batista self-destruct device detected. Self-destruction impossible. What? Eden, what the hell are you doing? Eden, what the hell was that? Am I missing something about the countermeasure? I don't understand why I can't do anything about it. We're in orbit. The pulsar is huge. Preliminary analysis confirms the forecast from Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate. We could do everything we can to find a way to use the power of the pulsar against the periodicis. Analyze the pulsar. It'll take 10 cycles. We need to upgrade housing because that's going to give me stability boost, which we need. Cyber attack launched by the Piranesi has disabled several missiles. Great. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. I didn't realize we didn't have a fire station to Sector 1. That's actually really, 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 really bad. But we now have three of these EV airlocks that can help maintain our hull integrity, which is just unbelievably skyrocketed down. Oh, it's disabled all the- I have to manually go around to every single one and turn them back on? Seriously? So it looks like fire does indeed spread, everyone. Make it a larger problem than I would have liked it to be. Just can't stay anywhere long enough to recharge everything. We have taken many readings and conducted a comprehensive analysis of the Pulsar's activity. We were able to submit a proposal that adapts the Tycoon's architecture and allows the hull to work as a Faraday cage. We've also developed a theoretical device that we've named Icarus 3. The device will allow us to induce a pulse from, from the Pulsar. To proceed, the Tycoon's tech lab will need to analyze the remaining data and fabricate construction patterns. The Piranesi has activated more subsystems. Its threat level has increased. He will attack more frequently. Thank you, Eden. Let's research it now. F it. Okay, working as best as we can, as fast as we can. The Piranesi has launched a missile targeting the Typhoon. Time to move. I probably have to build this cage, don't I? That's a resounding yes. Icarus is now ready. Three is not ready for launch. Let's see, sector four still needs housing, so we're gonna have to leave those two. Sector five is fine. You don't have to really worry about anything. Sector six has 18 people, so we're building it now. Sector one has enough people, so I'm actually gonna cancel this construction. Because I need the alloy to repair the ship. And Sector 2 also has enough people. So we're also going to cancel this construction. <gasps> oh. Oh, you did not let me know that. You did not tell me that. Oh my god, you did not tell me that at all. Holy mother of pearl. Kind of important thing, isn't it? A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit important. Come on, guys. Build that Faraday cage faster, please. I need it. Like, right now. Wake up the pulsar. Piranesi has activated more subsystems. Its threat level has increased. He will attack more frequently. Thanks, Eden, for that. They disabled my mess halls again. Bro! What is up with that? That's so annoying! Seriously? That's one of those things if you don't pay attention, you just boned. The Piranesi has launched a missile targeting the Typhoon. F that. I ain't dealing with that crap. Alright, science ship. Literally any day now would be great. Has done an act and activate the pulsar. The crew of the Heisenberg had to enter a cryopods before life support was neutralized. The Piranesi has been defeated. Woo! Oh yeah, we 
did it! Oh, we did it, guys. Everyone happy? You all should be celebrating. <laughs> Everyone here should be celebrating right now. It's destination. Parnesis has been disabled by the pulse. Its drones have been fried. Its missiles detonated as the pulse are hit. Electronic arcs and explosions ripple across the ship's hull. The Tycoon's crew stand witnessing all the while. We have successfully entered the Pyronesis. Through the breach in its hull, all doors and interlocks not damaged by the pulsar have closed. Most symptoms that are visible appear to have melted. The walls ooze a black, gritty oil. I wish they would have talked more. I really wish this AI would have talked more because they have such a good voice for it. Look at that, guys! We only have 279 people left to defrost. Wow! I never thought I'd see the day where we had so few cryopods left. The, near, the interior of the Pyronesis has been severely damaged. Blue fire is still flickering in the corners of the ship. Whole areas have collapsed in on itself. Some of the debris looked almost organic. We have taken pictures of what appears to be biological neural networks seemingly used in the activation of the ship's airlocks. Drones litter the floor and hang from broken piping. On our way to the storage location, we pass a huge translucent pond. Decaying bodies float in a white bath of liquid it contains. You see the color of their uniforms, crew from the E. Despite the many obstacles, we have reached the devices that home the Remus coordinates. We are ready to activate transfer. I have to move the tycoon over again. Connect the tycoon and extract its coordinates. Fantastic. Transfer is complete. All lights are green. We took advantage of the time it took to recover the coordinates to analyze what is left of the system on board the Pioneers. The use of its main weapon and the ease defense efforts left it terribly weakened. The ship seems to be still vibrate with what appears, what perhaps could be called its final breaths. It should not be long before it fully collapses in on itself. So we should get it as far away as possible. When the Armageddon of the evil technology breathes its last at the end of the agony, it could be devastating. We are getting the hell out of here. Ixian engine ready. This, I believe, is our final jump, everyone. I'm still surprised there was no, like, event celebrating that we destroyed the Pyronesis. Like, the, the crew said nothing. No one said anything. Like, no, it's like, congrats, administrator, you did great in defeating that guy. Nope. It's like, well, whatever. We'll just continue on our normal business, I suppose. Here we are. Running preliminary diagnostics. I sense Remus. We have reached the Ilya system. Structural failure of the Tycoon is near. We should initiate the Neocond colonization protocol. Very well, Eden. Very well. Science ship has arrived at its destination. Establish and analyze. Mm -hmm.